Good morning, everybody. This is Todd with the Forex Nitty Gritty Insiders Daily Video. We're uh, midweek here, uh, looking at uh, some pretty um, swingy moves, I guess you could say, in the market. We're seeing the market move up, we're seeing it move down, we're kind of seeing it move all around. And uh, as we look here at the hourly charts, I'm just going to quickly go through uh, each one of these. You can see since um, the market open, and I'm going to put a line on here so we can see exactly where that was. Let's see if we can get it up here. All right. Right in here is where the market opened uh, this week. And you can see it's gone up, down, up, down. So it's gone through some pretty, um, pretty good swings here. Uh, again, the U.S. CAD, U.S. Swiss franc. There we go. So that's where it opened. You can see big swing up, down, up, down. Pretty, pretty volatile in its movements right now. And uh, we're going to see that the euro dollar is going to be the opposite of this. Um, we'll look at that in just a second. The U.S.-Japanese yen, probably um, less movement here, but you know it had a sharp move down at the beginning, right back up, and then it just kind of been flat. Pound dollar, drop up, drop up, drop. Are we at a place where it's going to go back up? Possibly. Aussie dollar, pretty strong upward movement. We could have, um, we could draw some type of a trend line on here and, and look at that as an area where if it does break up. We could look for the simple trading method to come into play. And then again, big, huge swings on the, uh, the one hour euro dollar. Now, we're going to go to the Aussie dollar here and delete that line. Um, as you know, when we talk about the simple trading method, we're talking about a method that looks at the moving average and then looks for support or resistance to be able to tell us when to enter into a, a trade. One of the things that we can use for helping with support and resistance is something called an indicator uh, of Fibonacci retracements. Fibonacci retracements will look at specific areas based off of a Fibonacci ratio where the market will have a tendency to slow down or an area where we can use for targets and stops. So, for example, if we were to draw the line from a high up here down to this low, we could look at these areas as areas where the market may have some slowing. And so what we're looking at here is for the actual retracement. So once it hits a bottom, how much is it going to retrace? Now, we've got the 32 or 23.6. We've got the 38.2. 50. 61.2, and then this is 100% retracement here. Now, as we look at this, you can see that it's not necessarily going to stop perfectly at each of these areas, but you can see that we did have it act as a, a resistance here, came back down before it broke through that. As soon as it broke through that, where did it go? Well, it went up to the next FIB level, and that kind of hovered around that for a while. Broke right through the 50, and where did it go to? Straight up to this 62 area. Now it actually came back and it tested this 62 area before it bounced up again. So um, that's kind of an example of how we could use it. Now we can use it the opposite too. Let me get rid of my line here. We could look at, and again, if we drew it from if we drew it from the low 
to this high right here, again, we went from a low here to this high here. And as you can see, this pulled back nicely once to the 23, twice to the 23 before it moved up, experienced some resistance at this level, and then it kind of bounced up. So not a big retracement, but it did hold in this case at that 26 or 23.6 level. Um, these are not going to be obviously perfect areas, but they do give us an idea of where we may see things start to slow down. Um, if we draw from this last pullback right in here, this area here, you can see that this ran down to the 62 or 61.8 fib level and then it bounced right back up again. Now we can look at this on any pair and we can see if it uh, if it holds. We can go from the low here, this high here, and you can see this pulled back to the 38. Um, it's amazing as you look at this how often it does give us an idea of where things may start to show some type of a support or a resistance area. Now, let's say that it, uh, as it pulled back here, came back to the 23 level. If it breaks at 23 level, well, our next target would be this 38 level. So there's ways that you can uh, look at trading this. But um, when it comes to support or resistance, if we're looking for an uh, entry using the simple trading method, you know, once it starts to develop some movement off of these areas, we could look at entering in at the highest high or the lowest low of the last three in the opposite situation. So take a look at it, see if it uh, can help you. And uh, if you have questions, feel free to let me know. If not, we'll be back tomorrow to take a look at the markets again. And uh, have a great rest of the day, and we'll talk to you soon.